Hello everybody, my name's Epifox, and welcome to Black Ops 3 Zombies. This is the giant, is the map I'm going to today. I, I'm not the best Black Ops player ever, I'll admit. I, I'm actually not too terribly bad when I'm trying. Uh, I wanted to show you guys what the upgraded pistol is, whenever you pack a punch it, and how to pack a punch on this map. Uh, I had some friends ask me the other day about this map specifically, the giant, because it's a, a map that looks familiar, they said. The reason it's, it looks familiar is because it's been around since World of War, uh, Call of Duty. It, it's pretty dang old, so uh, it, it's a really neat little game, and god, stop talking, it's so annoying, I can't talk when you're talking. Anyway, uh, there's three teleporters, there's one over there, there's one way on the back of that, and then there's one on that side. Uh, you gotta activate them, run all the way back and t uh, activate this, so... We're gonna get through it real quickly. Uh, round two takes two knives, double points. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Come on. And I, I mess up like everybody else does. You know, I, I do stupid things. I, I get knocked down pretty. Ah, crap! I'm about to die. Uh, I do just do stupid things. I get knocked down easily on accident by, you know, getting cocky and stuff. I, I'm not too bad at this game, though, I will admit. I mean, I, by myself, I usually make it to between round 12 and round 24, so uh, I'm not too terribly bad at this game. Uh, the entire game, we're going to have our pistol on us, and we'll have to... Uh... Yeah, there we go, max ammo. I'm going to keep it on me because there's no other way to get the pistol back unless you die. And... I, I can't die because the game's over, because I have no other players, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run around until about round four, and then buy a, uh, a weapon, and then I'm going to keep using, just buying new weapons in that slot. Uh, that's difficult, kind of, because this requires a lot of money to be spent in order to do this, and so it takes till about around ten uh, to pack a punch this gun specifically, or pistol, but... Uh, with the use of grenades and other uh, little tricks and tips that I can show you, it, it makes it a lot easier. Now, if you have a crawler, you usually want to leave those alone. Uh, crap. <laughs> I also hate automatic aim because it really does kind of screw you over sometimes. Uh, shoot, okay. So, you can run past zombies, juking them, as I like to call them, uh, in order to get past them, but... Let's open up this door up here. Up here you'll have the options of a, this is a semi-automatic, or er, uh, submachine gun. Then it works for me. And the submachine machine guns are actually quite nice because they've got, uh, they're really easy at just open firing. Uh, I suggest always aiming for the heads whenever you're doing that. It's one of the simplest ways to get kills. Where are you going? Come back here. No. Anyway. Uh, that door I opened over there actually was just a mistake. Uh, the best way to start is actually open this door first, and you'll see why. Right here on this wall, oops, I can't do that. Usually I buy the shotgun and I buy the CUDA, which is, or the L-Car and the, uh, the L-Car 9 and, and the, what is this called? The KMR, which is a sub, or a, a shotgun. Very powerful shotgun, it works very well. This one also works really well, it's a submachine gun, the VMP. Uh, one of my more favorite submachine guns, the VMP, because of a large clip and a large magazine. Ah, crap. Uh, but the first one, the first teleporter pad you can get to is over there. But the first one you want to get to is in the way back, because it makes it easier. Uh, the lower rounds make it, you know, easier to get through zombies. You know, when you're on round 10, you don't want to have to run halfway across the map in order to get to the uh, teleporter link. So, what I'm going to do is, i got to earn a thousand so I can open this gate up here. Uh, we're going to go up here, open this, and then right here is how you open the power. Now, you can turn on the power right away, or you can wait. There's The box is usually right here. I like to use it. I don't have enough money right now. But as long as this gate is not open, zombies will only come from in front of you, which is really nice. Uh, sorry, I itched my eye. Oh, come on, hurry up. Taking forever. Anyway, we're going to turn on the power now. So that's how you turn on the power for this map. Uh, the drawbridge comes down, all the power turns on, and uh, it, it's this gate does not open, by the way. If that was what you were hoping for, that gate open, it does not. Ow, there you are. I was looking for you. 
Alright, that match is done. So... What? Excuse me? Oh. I thought it took away my box. Uh, round six uh, is the dog level. Uh, about six or seven. Between five and seven is usually when he comes. You'll hear him uh, say, fetch me their souls. But uh, that might have been what he just said now. But I'm hearing a thunk, thunk, thunk of uh, doggies being summoned, so I'm going to assume that we're okay for now. Oh, yeah, we're okay. Yeah, so I'm just going to stay back here because they're not going to come from behind me. They'll only come from in front of me, and I'll just kind of mow them down for a little bit. Just earning up enough money that I can... Oh, the carpenter. Doesn't really help me out much, but might as well pick it up. Alrighty. So, I have enough now. I'm going to go ahead and use the box. I, I really don't need to. Ah, dual wield. Oh, this is a, the three round burst one. I do not like the three round burst ones. Anyway, if the three round bursts are better just be the fact that usually they're more powerful and they have a better aim to them. But for the, the for zombies, you really don't need the aim. Uh, yeah, I see there's a nuke over there, which I'm going to try to get to, but you can't just run for things. You've got to strategically work through it. Alright. So dogs are about to come, and the best way to handle the dogs is uh, usually you want to come up here. There they are. It says, fetch me their souls. You want to come up here because they have no way of getting to you except for through that thing. Uh, by the way, the machines in this level, for some reason, will randomly generate. They don't always come from the same place. So uh, you can see them come through there. These dogs will come up the stairs. They only have one way of getting at you, and it's right there. Uh, this doesn't work with zombies because the zombies will actually jump up this cliff here to my right. They'll actually jump up right there, so you got to be careful of that. It does give me an escape, though. If they start to get too close, I can hop off there. I, I do like that. I have at least one more dog. There's, there's more dogs. Come on. There we go. You can tell the end because they give you a max ammo at the very end. So, now the next round is starting before it actually starts. Run up here, you hold X, links. You have 30 seconds to make it back to that teleporting pad. I suggest you run as fast as... What are you doing? Run as fast as your little legs can carry you. Uh, the teleporter pad, the main one's over there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, and the machines actually move. They're, they're randomized each round, which I didn't know that until I played this map a whole bunch, and I realized that Jug is not always right there. Uh, that's definitely one of the first... Uh, that's definitely one of the first you want to pick up, though, is Jug and... Ah! Okay. Except for inst or Quick Revive. Quick Revive is probably the most important for single player, because if you get knocked down for any reason... The only thing that's going to actually save you is a, a quick revive, which in s single player is known as uh, quick revive for some reason. It, it's it's just in instant revive. Okay, this is a bad idea to stand right here in one place. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so. This is what I'm going to do right now, is I've got insta-kill, and I've got the death machine. Oh, this is fantastic. It's lining up fantastically. So, I'm just mowing him down right now because I need to get Juggernaut right here. But I can't pick anything up while I have the death machine. That is another uh, unfortunate reality of the death machine. I mean, it's a great gun and all. It's fun to have, but it just, it, it's impractical at times because... Doesn't get any better. Okay. Juggernaut uh, goes from three to five hits. You can usually take three hits and consecutive hits in a row before uh, old Black Ops was two. This Black Ops three changed to three hits because they wanted to make it a little bit easier for you. Uh, as you can see, the door starting to open. By the way, stop it. So that round is over. So now that that round's over, I have just enough. I can probably get through both doors to start the uplink. Um, the uplink is right here. 
I think it took me 12 rounds, 14 rounds last time, that's how long it was, 14 rounds to do this, because I couldn't find the uh, last door for some reason. Um, 30 seconds, and my guy does not want to sprint right now for some reason. Come on, you can sprint, you can sprint, come on, sprint, sprint, sprint. And I have him after me now. Alright, and we're here. So now we've uplinked. It's, uh, that's done now. And every time you uplink, they bring you one of these bonuses. Uh, I missed my last one. But honestly, it's not that big a deal. Like, there will always be more bonuses. Like that, when you drop one right there. Insta-kill, which I want to hold off on grabbing right away. Now I'm going to grab it. Because I want it to last a lot longer than my death machine does. Uh, the nice thing about this is it has no time limit, or uh, no ammo limit. It's strictly... Oh god, it went away. Whoops. Alright, anyway. Sorry about that. Alrighty. Uh, the gobble gum machines are good. If you want them, I don't necessarily use them because I gotta remember to use them and I just frankly don't usually remember. Uh, I'm gonna switch out to this gun. The Vespa. Alright, so you have two uplinks done. I'm going to need more money before I can uh, open the third uplink. As you can see, this uplink is linked, and the other two are actually uplinked. Or uh, It'll show you the one you have uplinked and the one that you need to uplink on the uh, pads. Alright, so now we have an explosion. Uh, again, the, the uh, perks change place to place for some reason, on single play at least. Excuse me, I don't know if they do on multiplayer. So that's the second one. The third one is... Oh, God. Stop it. Play nice. Yeah, you you can shut up. Whoops. My grenade got caught in that corner. Ow! That was a bad idea on my part. Okay. So... Yeah, sorry, I, I went quiet there for a second. The third uplink place is over here. The ZB. This is the last one. Uplink you have. So you hook it up. Ow. Okay. Vision cleared. There we go. Alright, and you have 30 seconds to get all the way out here to your uplink. And then, and boom! And it's done. Your uplink is complete. And you should get a bonus over here. Any second now. There we go. Okay, two times points. Okay, double points. That is very nice. Alright, so now all I gotta do is make up to 5,000. Ah, oh, crap, I might not be able to. There we go. Ow, stop it. Alrighty. So, I'm out of bullets, or grenades, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna have to spend some money in order to open this up. I need the map opened up, otherwise I'm never going to be able to make it through here. So, we need to move down here. What is this? Oh, yes. Okay, double tap root beer is actually a very good perk. Everybody always thought it was made your uh, gun shoot faster. That's not necessarily true. Ah, crap. Ah, frickin' frack. Okay, come on, give me something good. Give me something good. I'll take it. No, this is the gun I had earlier. This is literally the gun I bought off the wall earlier. Oh, well, at least it was cheaper. You gotta watch out behind you because this gate's open. They will come from behind you. Uh, we're at 36,000. Uh, it's gonna be another round before I can get it. Again, before you can upgrade your pistol, it's gonna be about round 10. So, uh, I could have probably gone without the, uh, without the buying that other door, but... Again, it, it really does help out. Also, having Juggernaut and having Self Revive really helps you out in the end, too. Um, another place, if you want to uh, just kind of sit and hunt, as it's called, so you'll see all those. Oh, God, dogs. 
Okay, there we go. So again, this is a great strategy for if you want to uh, survive the dogs, you can also shoot them from there. Uh, if you have good aim, I'd suggest that, but if not, like me, you just hold off until they come up the stairs. And then, as soon as they come up the stairs, you can shoot them in the head. There we go. And they come up the stairs pretty, uh, pretty slow fashion, so you can usually have enough time to reload your weapon, unless it's like an LMG. And then usually you have to take a lot more time. There we go. Anyway, uh, we should have, I believe, two more doggies. One more doggy. Okay. Next ammo. Okay, we're really, really, really close. So, as long as we don't spend too much more money, we should be okie dokie. A uh, good place to hold out if you want to hold out for a while. If you get a good weapon and you want to hold off for a while, just sit. This back here is a great area because they can only come from one direction. Uh, they can only really come from over there somewhere. And then you have a drop plate right there that you can drop off of. That way, if you get overwhelmed, you can jump down and take off running through there. But it takes them a little bit to get over here because this is the uh, back of the map. So they, they, they'll start coming up those stairs, though. As you can see, they're starting to come already. And uh, if you have, if you're playing multiplayer, uh, this is a great place to hide because of the fact that uh oh, this is a great place to hide because one person can always uh, sit and snipe out the window while another person, uh, ah, crap. Another person shoots them as they come up the stairs. Yeah, I've, I've never liked Carpenter, to be honest. It doesn't give you points, and it just kind of shuts the windows that are there. Anyway, uh, I think we have enough points now. Ooh, we have instant kill. I didn't even realize that. So we're going to go ahead and take off. As soon as you have over 5,000, you'll be fine. Uh, double tap Ruby will be another one I want to get later. So, I want to show you what the pistol, the first pistol you get does whenever you do pack a punch it. Uh, it's called uh, Death and Taxes, the two inevitables. It's, it's kind of kind of a play on words. However, you have to be careful because these things are grenades, basically, and so they will kill you if you get too close to the explosions. However, they are pretty damn awesome. Uh, these two pistols really will. However, they they hurt you if they you shoot too close to you. <laughs> so that's death and taxes. Um, I'll show you what the VMP turns into if I can get enough money. But uh, if you're playing this map, that's how you get to the pack a punch machine. By the way, it's probably not a good idea to carry around the death and taxes with you if you're going to be in close quarters like I am around here. You will end up shooting a wall and blowing yourself up. And that's that that's happened to me multiple times. Death and taxes actually are basically grenade launchers, hand grenade launchers. And yes, they do explode and they will hurt you and you can take damage from your own pistols, which I think is incredibly stupid, but that's just how it works. Uh, there'll be a machine right there, and there's another machine that's uh, back over there. Outside in this corner, do not go here unless there's no zombies because you will get trapped. There's always a machine right there. Uh, Mule Kick is another good one to get. Uh, Deadshot Daiquiri is the most useless in the game, and they got rid of it, I think. I'm going to go up here and camp a little bit more so I can get some more money, and then we can head out again. Um, actually, the gun I want to pack a punch is this one, the AK. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's... Where are they? Where'd they all go? There you are. I was wondering where you were. Oh well. That works. Alright, so that's basically how you survive. Um, at round between 10 and 12 is one of the dogs come the second time. The first time is between 5 and 7. Uh, the teleporter pads will re-teleport you to the home base for, I believe it's 1500. So if you get trapped in like a room like this, you can always run over to the teleporter and teleport back. It brings you back to the power pack-a-punch machine. 
I do really, really like these guns. They're some of my favorite guns because, I mean, how much fun is that? I mean, that's just way too fun to pass up. You just gotta be careful that you don't accidentally shoot yourself or- Oh god! Like that? Uh, like that. And then when you fall down, actually, those are the guns you get when you fall down. If you ever wondered, when you get the, uh, self-revive and stuff, the, uh, guns you get when you fall down is actually the death taxes. Machine guns are usually the best for if you want to stand up here and mow down some uh, major zombies. Because you can kind of stand here and just mow them down. Ah, crap, I killed myself. Again, you have to watch out with the death and taxes because they will blow you up. Anyway, I made it to round 12 on that one. I didn't do so good because I just kind of blew myself up. That happens, you know. It wasn't my best round, but yeah, that's how it. Ha that's how uh, you. If you want to upgrade your pistol, that's how you do it. It's very simple. Uh, that's how you get to the pack punch machine on the giant. It's uh, one of the DLC maps for Black Ops 3. It's been around since Modern Warfare 2, so it's been around for. Er, not Modern Warfare 2, sorry. It's been around since at least the first Black Ops. Ooh, I got a lot of good stuff. I got some Liquid Divinium and I got a bunch of cool of things. Uh, I'm only level 4 on this one because I don't play on my PC ever. I play on my Xbox One, which is actually not my Xbox One. It's somebody else's. My good friend, uh, Batman Baggins. So I got... Ooh, I got two of those. That's cool. Anyway, uh, yeah. It's your Gobble Gums. You get a bunch of these... You can switch them out anytime you want. As you can see, I got that, and then I got those. So I'm going to switch that out. But I uh, don't like Arms Grace very much. I'm not a huge fan of long arm bleed out types. This is one of my favorites. That and Stab Tastic. Uh, but that's that's basically uh, this. That's how you do it in this game. I'll, if you want me to do something else, like get the bow on uh, the Izzy Rock or the. Uh, Pack a punch on this one's a little bit more difficult because you have to open up the, uh, excuse me, the uh, underground catacombs and get the uh, evil guy out. I haven't actually opened up the pack a punch on this one, but I have gotten the bow on this one a few times, and it's not that difficult. So let me know what you want to see me do in the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me.